This is the third revision of this script because I keep forgetting things, so bear with me. Hello, we met again. Although it's not that long ago, we talked about history. This time though, we're going to talk about this event. So the 8th of March, or the 9th of March here, have passed and the events have been rolling on. And here's things that happen in about less than 10 seconds. Apple TV Plus promo, iPhone SE got an upgrade to A15B and 5G, iPad Air got an M1 chip and 5G, and that's it. Oh yeah, one more thing. And now we're going to take the next giant leap, because today we're bringing Apple Silicon to users who need even more extreme levels of performance. Yes! Extreme! We're adding one last chip to the M1 family, oh. and it's going to blow your mind. Did they just put an Intel? Alright, alright. We now have four M1 variants. This M1, M1 Pro, M1 Max, M1 Ultra, which is... Yeah, we didn't have to deal with types at least. At least? Okay, to be fair, M1 Ultra, which is basically two M1 Max processor fused together with whatever this thing is called, and because it's basically two M1 Max fused together, it of course has the double of what M1 Max has to offer, including its capability to run four Thunderbolt displays and a 4K TV, and also 128 gigabytes of unified memory. That is shared between 20 core CPU and 64 core GPU. In case you didn't realize that, that's from the press release of Apple at the day. That and all this almost useless stuff that explains nothing, like Apple, you are capable of making processors for God's sake. Make a functional craft for once at least. My dear wise wolf of Wolfenland, if that's not the most confusing things since little change its market layout. Okay, back to the video. So with this massively powerful processor, where will it be used on? Well, let's go to the Apple design board. Let me just uh, pull this Mac mini and uh, stack them together. Add some Thunderbolt ports and a SD card slot in front and done. I will send it to Craig Federighi and go to Scotland for Gabertas competition. You think I'm joking? No. It's what it is. That's what it is. Someone inflated Mac Mini and says it's a studio now. Yeah, that's it. Also, the existence of studio display which you can get for the lowest price of... Yeah, not really sure its price. But all in all, it's worth it, right? And I wouldn't say it's not worth it. Of course, people who have the money and want to get it would get it anyway. I just think it's not that interesting i kind of expect a micro tower mac pro instead of inflated mac mini it still is basically a byod km and we didn't even talk about the price because it's grim and as per usual i just can't give a damn about any other thing that doesn't have mac os in it oh yeah did you know that iphone now comes in green <laughs> 